A clinical trial means that um, we are interested in this context in demonstrating that a new type of treatment is safe um, and that it's effective and that patients may benefit in terms of treatment and disease response. And why do they matter? Clinical trials are hugely important. Um, it's the way in which we demonstrate that drugs are safe, that they're tolerable, that um, patients respond in terms of their disease and their survival. So we have to demonstrate and prove that there's a benefit involved given that often these drugs are associated with risks. And I had lots of reasons for taking part in research, but it is a deeply personal choice. What sorts of reasons or motivations do your patients have for taking part in clinical trials? I think it really depends on the patient. Um, sometimes patients really just want to feel better, they want to be healthy and well, and unfortunately they're in a position where um, they need to be receiving treatment for disease. And often patients want to be healthy and live longer for their family. Um, so the motivation behind it can vary but I think their willingness to participate in clinical trials is, is really something that we benefit from hugely, as do future patients. And consent is so important here, isn't it? How do you make sure that a patient's making a meaningful choice, especially if they are driven by hope or, or even desperation? Yes, I think that's, that's um, a difficult situation for patients, and I think informed consent is, is crucial here, especially in a study like this where it's the first time we are giving patients this treatment and we're not certain of the potential side effects and risks involved. Um, and I think patients need to be fully aware of the risks and potential side effects. And we're hopeful that it would be um, of benefit to them, but I think having that informed consent so that we make decisions together is incredibly important in studies like this.